talk about an upgrade, Japan was already awesome with their version of the NES Zapper. But then Bandai came along with the Hyper Shot. <laughs> oh man, this thing is hefty. Much like the Famicom beam gun, there's no way this would have made it outside Japan. It's a machine gun. Well, a submachine gun, maybe? Either way, this peripheral is packed to the barrel with features. Aside from its sleek aesthetics and light gun shooting power, it's got a near complete set of controller inputs. The Hypershot has a start and select toggle on the side of the gun and a button on the front handle that acts as the B button in games. It also has a small control on the inside of the handle for movement. And believe it or not, this is an amazingly tight directional pad. When I first saw the thing, I figured it was going to be some squishy mess and super unresponsive, kind of like an Atari 2600 joystick. Oh, I hate that thing. But no, no, I was pleasantly surprised, and I even tried it with other games, and it offers nothing but smooth movement control. It might be a better D-pad than the standard NES controllers. I do... Whoa? Huh? Oh? <laughs> yeah, it's surprising. It's too bad, though, that I still can't jump over anything. See, I was hoping that the trigger would act as the A button, but it doesn't seem like there's any true input for the A button. Otherwise, we could play almost any game with a machine gun. <laughs> oh, that is that is sad. I guess we'll just have to turn to the packing game, Space Shadow. Space Shadow was the only game released to take full advantage of the Hypershot's other features. Now sure, you can play Duck Hunt and Wild Gunman with this thing, but it just acts like a typical light gun. <laughs> But when you hook up and pop Space Shadow into your Famicom, you might hear a little something something. Hmm. Space Shadow sends the audio back through the cord to a speaker built into the gun. This definitely pumps up the intensity. Yeah, surround sound. Surround sound. So I hope you're ready. Push start or shot. Wait. Shoot, right? I, I think they meant shoot. In this sci-fi horror shooting game, you're stuck on a spaceship with aliens. Much like Aliens, the movie. But just wait. Yes, the Hypershot is equipped with a body vibration system. Simply insert four C batteries into the rear of the gun, and you've got force feedback action. This is what makes the Hypershot even more impressive. And what a waste that the recoil only seems to work with Space Shadow. Oh well. Let's shoot some aliens. You're shooting everything in this game. Extra ammunition, health power-ups, the aliens, and the weird things that they spew at you. Also grenades, which you can activate by pressing that front trigger button. Grenades are limited, but they can take out pretty much anything. You move through corridors and rooms on the spaceship, taking out various alien creatures. After passing through enough lonely hallways, you'll face a boss like this weird brain thing. And then it's back to the corridors. If you run out of health, time, or ammo, it's game over. No extra lives, no continues. That's pretty much all there is to the game. The Hypershot machine gun is what keeps you going through the exhausting five levels of Space Shadow. 
At least in the end, you're rewarded with a disgusting final battle against a bulbous alien monster. And it's randomly appearing boils. The only cure for boils gots to shoot them off! The Hypershot Machine Gun by Bandai is a unique piece of Famicom history from 1989. I imagine it could have been a hit outside of Japan. Think about it. Light gun games were super popular, especially here in North America. <laughs> Just think what kind of games this gun could have inspired that used all of the features, including that awesome recoil. Unfortunately, the only game that works with it is Space Shadow. Hmm.